Hello, 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 and welcome to recipe of the day. It is that time. It is three o'clock on Saturday, and we are live as we are Wednesdays and Saturdays. Welcome. It is a blistery day here in Southern California, so we are going to be making something yummy. We are going to be making a albondigas meatball soup because fall has fallen. We even got to wake up to rain today was so exciting. I mean, five o'clock in the morning, it was pouring rain. And don't you know, it never rains in Southern California. <laughs> but today it was. So we we're going to make um, this yummy meatball soup that is quick and easy, um, great for parties, holiday parties, uh, um, Christmas Eve or open houses, things that you just want to have something done and made and easy that's delicious. This is it. So I'm going to get started here with our meatball soup. I'm also going to make this yummy dip because it had horseradish and apple butter in the same thing. So I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, yum, we're gonna have to try that. So let me get started with our soup though. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna start with um, a little bit of olive oil in my pan here. And I'm gonna put some onions in. And I'm gonna save some for my meatballs. So I'm gonna take some of my onions here and put them in. Woo! Yum. Sticking that in there. So in there is my onions, and I'm going to put some bay leaves in there, and some garlic. Oh, here's my bay. Oh, I put it over here to try and keep it easier. <laughs> I'm like, where's my stuff? It's not in front of me. Director doesn't want it in front of me. So there we go, two bay leaves going in there. I realized I checked my bay, my bay leaves and I had to buy new ones because um, my bay leaves were so old. Check your spices. If they don't have a date on your McCormick spi uh, spices, they're really old. Throw them out. They're only good for like a year and then they lose their flavor. Hey Rhonda, how are you? Destiny, Sandy, what's going on? Oklahoma, how's the weather there today, Sandy? How's it going there? So I got my pan nice and hot there. So in there I've got my onions and my bay leaves. And I'm gonna put some little garlic in there. Everything on my little stand here. It'll stay on there. Find my garlic. Here we go. So I've already crushed my garlic here. It's going in about Oh, about two cloves worth at least, you know, I can never have too much garlic. Yum! Hey Rhonda, what's happening over there? We had a very fun morning this morning, celebrating with the Santa Paula Boys and Girls Club. So, really, really fun event they do every year. Um, so, I'm going to get started here while that is going, getting started there, and start with my meatballs. So, here I have a, a pound of ground beef. And I have a pound of sausage in here. And to this, I'm going to add all my things for our meatballs. And then we will squish them all up. So I have um, about six tablespoons of cornmeal going in. And I'm going to put an egg to help with the binder. Our meatballs. Meatball! Everybody has their own way they like to make meatballs. But this, re this recipe is good. I haven't made it in a long time. But I thought today, nice rainy day, blistery, let's make some soup. Quarter cup of milk going in there. I'm going to put some cumin, about a teaspoon of cumin. Let's get my spices out here. What's everyone doing on this beautiful day? Oh my gosh, cumin going in. The recipe actually called for half a teaspoon, but I like it, so I put, I put a little more, and I put a little more meat than the recipe called for, because I'm going to make a little more a um, little few more meatballs than it called for. I'm going to put some salt and put in some, hey Jill, how are you? Put in some pepper. Before I get my hands all dirty, I'm going to get everything in here. <laughs> so get some pepper. I think I'm going to put a dash of this seasoned pepper just because I like it. And I want my meatballs to be yummy. Okay, get it all in there. I think I did. So over here in my pan, I'm going to add um, the beef broth and let it start get, uh, getting hot. So we've got our onions, our bay, some garlic going here. Uh, and I grated my onion like you know I like to do because I don't like chunks in my stuff. It's not quite, I need to let it soften up a little bit more. So I grate my onion so it is grated. In there, but if you want to chop it, no problem. You can chop it, um, and and like I was just crying. <laughs> Gary's laughing at me because I was grating it, just crying, and I'm like, oh my gosh, do I have to go 
change my makeup. So I just cried it all off, grating it. But it's just how I like to do it. You do it however you want. Just like I took my tomatoes we're going to put in here, I had a can of San Marzano's. Now in this recipe you could also use um, Rotel if you wanted to, no problem. Um, I have done this recipe with Rotel before, but you know I like to give my tomatoes a little zhuzh with the immersion blender because I don't like chunks of tomato in my things and mostly because Rex doesn't like chunks of tomato in his things. So I just zhuzh it up a little bit a little bit and it works great. So, oh my gosh, this looks good. Yum. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. What's your favorite way to eat meatballs? I've pulled out so many yummy recipes with meatballs. Um, various things. Marsala meatballs and chicken buffalo meatballs and oh my gosh, yummy things. I'm going to put a little cilantro in my meatballs sitting right in front of me, didn't get it in the bowl yet, but here we go. So I'm going to put my cilantro in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now I am not a cilantro lover. I know people either love it or hate it, but I'm putting a little bit in because I like the green and I think it just gives these meatballs a really yummy flavor. Unexpected, but delicious. Okay, so I've got that done. Let me rinse off. Oh, duh, the onion. Hello. Getting sideways here today, so I'm going to put the rest of these onions in these meatballs. And because I grated it, I have some liquid there. Um, and it's going in all the liquid to keep our meatballs nice and moist. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, yummy. I was getting ready to learn a new card game today, but I had to come home and get ready for you guys to make soup. Yummy. What's your favorite soup in the winter? Send me your favorite soup recipes that you want to share and we will share them with our audience. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you like cilantro? Well maybe you should come over for some soup, Rhonda baby. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our onions going in there. I am going to now put, I've got two boxes here of the organic beef broth, so I'm putting it in here. And let it start warming up. Good thing about these cardboard boxes, you just squeeze it on in. Oh my gosh, going in. One, two, yum. Okay. I've got myself all corn fused with a. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't Bridge. Gary's asking me behind the scenes here if the new card game was Bridge. He wants us to play Bridge on our game night. So, we, you know, it's Saturday night, it's game night. So, we'll be having game night again tonight. But we, um, Gary wants to play Bridge, of course, because he knows how. I don't know how. No, they were going to play golf, Gary, this golf game with cards that we should probably learn. We'll have to learn. Uh, the, Another day. Hey, Head. Hey, Aaron. What's happening? We are making meatball soup here. So I've got our onions and garlic and bay, and I have our beef broth. Beef, bleh, beef broth. Easy for me to say. In there to get going. And let's see. Tomatoes. I'm gonna put the tomatoes in. Like I said, I took my can. I had a can, a 28 ounce can of San Marzano's, because that's what I had in my pantry and COVID cooking, we use what we have. But like I said, you could use Rotel. I gave them a little zhuzh, and now they're going in. Oh my gosh, yum! They smell so good because those tomatoes happen to have a little bit of basil in them, so it'll be delicious. Okay, tomatoes, I'm going to put my salsa in and some cilantro. So I got some more cilantro over here, a little bit more going in. Of course, organic cilantro. Put that in. And then a little bit, half a cup of salsa. Now I had this in my pantry and I like these. These little, this one happens to be hot because I know my audience will like it. I guess that means Rhonda Baby going to be too spicy for you, girl. Um, but it's going in. Put some salsa in. That will give it a little bit of a, a zip. So I think that's it. I'm going to let that come to a boil. Then we're going to make some meatballs. So in the meantime, while that is getting going, of course, what do I have for my meatballs? I got my scoops, two sizes. 
So we can make little meatballs or we can make big meatballs. So what do you guys want, want to make? Little meatballs or big meatballs? Because we need to make them the same so they cook in the same amount of time. But you guys choose. You want big meatballs or little meatballs and we will make them in a second. So in the meantime, I'm going to make this yummy dip. Oh my goodness. This looks so good because anyone that knows, knows I love, love, love horseradish. Love it. So I'm starting with half a block here of cream cheese and I'm going to put, I grated just a block, an eight ounce block of cheddar cheese. Ooh, whoops. Try and get it in the bowl, Lisa. Whoopsie. So get that in there. Then I'm going to do some mayo. Of course, measure very carefully, one third of a cup. So we'll do a little, a little bit of mayo in there. And then, oh my gosh, this had apple butter. I mean, yum. So apple butter in there. This just looked so yummy. And then serve this. I'm going to serve this with apples and celery and pretzels uh, as a dip. Yum. Of course, horseradish. But let's see what the recipe calls for because, you know, I'll put more than that. So we're going to cup one tablespoon of horseradish. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. So take my horseradish, teaspoon, 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 three heaping teaspoons, equal close enough to a tablespoon, right? <laughs> I was just asking um, Siri before you guys got here uh, about six tablespoons, how many cups, it tells me it's how many gallons. I'm like, no, how many cups is six tablespoons, Siri? Siri confused. I'm like, no, I don't, this is not a restaurant kitchen. I don't need to make gallons. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, does this smell delicious. Get this broken up a little bit, get our cream cheese broken up there. Oh, my cream cheese, by the way, was room temperature, so it's easier to mix into dips and stuff like this. Um, much easier if your cream cheese is warmed up a little bit, so it'll incorporate. Check out my soup back here. Oh my gosh, smells so good. Where's my spoon? Here we go, spoon. Okay. Yum. And that is coming to a boil. So in here I'm also going to put some Worcestershire shire. <laughs> Worcestershire shire going in. Uh, hey Kathy, how are you? Okay, you guys, you want big meatballs or little meatballs? I need you guys to tell me. So you need to comment. Give me some hearts, some likes. I'm gonna put a little bit, uh, a little bit less than a teaspoon of Worcestershire shire, which will also count as salt in this recipe because it's salty. And then we're gonna put a squeeze of lemon in here. Of course, lemon off my tree. Just picked it off my tree. Because you know, I'm such a farmer. <laughs> Okay, Destiny wants big. All right, we're going to make big meatballs. Is that because you, you know you're having it for dinner? <laughs> With our game night. Oh my gosh. This smells so yummy. Okay, so I'm going to have this a taste before we make meatballs. I'm just make sure I got everything in there. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in here. Medium. Oh, that's true. Hey, Seal, how are you, girl? We are making meatball soup today, and I'm making this yummy dip with apple butter and horseradish and cheese. Oh my gosh, yum! Let's make sure I got everything in here. And I did. Okay, let's taste this. Because this smells so good. So hold that thought. Because apple butter and horseradish, yum, huh? We got the sweet and the spicy, so let's see. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Just like I thought it would be. It's great. Of course, I love horseradish, so it's not too hard um, for me to love anything that has horseradish. So let me get a little bowl here that I can serve this in. Oh, look at these cool bowls. I bought these at the Carpinteria uh, Avocado Festival. They have their dip bowls. They have a lip on them for dipping. Of course, they had them full of guacamole at the Avocado Festival, but they're so cool. So when you dip in them, the dip stays on your chip or on your cracker. In this case, on your apple, on your celery, or on your pretzel, which is what I'm going to serve this with. So let me get it in the bowl here. Oh my gosh. Yum! Something easy. You probably have all these things in your pantry. And I just thought easy, new, and different. 
and you know, your regular old onion dip. So there's a new one. And put a little bit of cheese on top, just so people know what's in there. And there we go. Yummy new dip idea. Yum! Okay, so let's check on our meatballs. We have a request. Now my soup here is boiling. So I'm going to scoop these meatballs in, and then we'll let them cook for 20 mi uh, minutes or so, and then the soup will be ready. So of course we are not going to be eating this till later, um, but it's going to be delish. Right, gang? Hey, Vivian, how are you? Vivian, you're in Sedona? How awesome is that? It looks beautiful. Totally beautiful. So I am going to make meatballs. I'm going to make them round. I could just scoop to scoop scoop them in, but when you can play with your food, why not? So I will not make you guys watch me make all this whole bowl of meatballs, but I'm going to start dropping them in. And then when I serve this, you can serve this with garnishes. I'm going to serve it with jalapeno. You can serve it with a little cheese on the side if you want, some sour cream. Uh, I'm going to have a little more cilantro to put on the top for a garnish. And this is just going to be delicious. So, yum. Have you ever made meat, uh, meatball soup? Easy and delish. With this, I'm also going to serve, I bought this beautiful fresh loaf of ciabatta bread. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And we will make some garlic bread out of that to go with this first fall soup that I am making. So, yum. Just thought it was a perfect day for it. So, that is our meatball soup and I will scoop up the rest of these and put them in here when you guys don't have to sit there and watch me do it all so I will move on here to our hey Dan how are you um, to our birthday shout outs because I do have a couple today so let me get my birthday shout out hat here and I have today doo -doo -doo -doo, we have a birthday shout out from Friday that got missed because I didn't have it on my list because I didn't know it is Ginger Brandstrom's birthday on Friday yesterday. Happy birthday to you, girl. And why you didn't tell me, um, she does my nails and she does a beautiful job. You see, we are red already, red for the holiday. As soon as we get past Halloween, right? <laughs> and, this, and this year, shoot, it's fair game. I've seen people's Christmas lights up. They're ready to go <laughs> straight full steam into Christmas. Um, and then Monday, Janet Haddam, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you on Monday. Um, Monday is also my anniversary, so we are going to be celebrating our anniversary on Monday, the 9th. Um, so it's always a special day around here. Um, and then my giveaway today, we have these really cute, now if you've commented or liked it on these videos, which is here on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, which is Ventura Real Estate. So you can see the videos on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and you've liked or commented, you are in the pool here. For the giveaway, well, let me show you first what my cute giveaway is for today, for our fall. We have these such cute, look at these, they're trivets for your Thanksgiving table, for your hot things. Aren't they cute? I thought they were so cute. So this is our giveaway today, because shoot, you're having a party, I'm always lo looking for the, tri for the trivet. Aren't those cute, cool? My sister's on here too, watching, so let's see if she can win. I don't know if she's in here. Jennifer Del Castillo, winner, winner! What are you making for Thanksgiving, girl? Let's see, I'm sure you're making something delicious because you're a great cook. Oh my gosh. And Laura Nielsen, my winners today of our cute trivet. So, oh my gosh, awesome. So much fun. So I'm going to sit here and scoop some more meatballs to finish our soup um, and then let it simmer. Oh, one more thing going in here. I have a half a cup of rice. I'm going to put in, so while it's simmering and the meatballs are cooking, um, the rice will cook too. So that will be delish. Um, now remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best, especially in this crazy time. Um, and I had a couple today is National Play Outside Day. So I thought, what's so funny, it never rains here, but this morning it did. So everything's all clean, but it's National Play Outside Day, so if it's still light where you are, my East Coasters, maybe not, um, but it is still time to go outside and um, play outside. And when's the last time you played outside? Grab a ball and go play outside. 
And then tomorrow, just to get you prepped, tomorrow is National Cappuccino Day. So you can get ready for your cappuccino. And I had to laugh out loud, seriously, at it is also National Parents as Teacher Day. Day. Seriously, I laughed out loud. Like, day. It has been Parents as Teacher Day for like six months now, right? Homeschooling parents, because now we all are homeschooling parents. So, oh my gosh, I just had to laugh. Um, not sure it's my strength, but uh, we're doing it like everyone else is doing it. Uh, so I just had to laugh. So tomorrow's your day to celebrate being a teacher and a parent. Tomorrow's your day. <laughs> tomorrow's also, by the way, National Harvey Wallbang Banger Day. And if I'd had any Galliano, I would have made you a cocktail. But I didn't have any. And there's a few funny stories about... Um, who created a Harvey wall, ba uh, wall banger cocktail, but it's vodka and Galliano and orange juice. Um, and I would have made you one, but you can make your own tomorrow and celebrate. Gave you a heads up in time to get the cocktail, the ingredients you need. So anyway, oh my gosh, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com for all your real estate needs. The market is crazy. If you know anyone that's thinking about selling a home, please call us because it is nuts and we will make the process very smooth and fun. And you want to be on the show? Come on, be on the show. And let's sell a house. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Oh my gosh, hey Gary, how are you? Good to see you, thanks for watching. Um, and Patty, how are you? I'm so sorry, I missed you when I was back there. I had so much fun with seeing my high school friends when I was in D.C. last month. It was a blast. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's always fun. We are here live Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. And again, you can watch us if you're watching us on the replay, hashtag replay. And we look forward to seeing you. We are going to be coming up with some yummy things for Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving side time. And I have been scouring to try and find you guys some new recipes. Because I know I'm always trying to find something new. Um, or a twist on the old when it comes to holiday recipes. So if you have a favorite holiday recipe, recipe for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, please send it in and let's share it. And we look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see you soon. Visit us at Ventura Real Estate on YouTube and please subscribe because we're almost to a thousand. So thanks for watching.